Hey, what's going on? We have a new update to Pavlov. I'm going to show you all of the new weapons, attachments, and updates that they made to the game. Really, really cool stuff. I'm super excited to try it out uh, in multiplayer, but in this video, I'm just going to run through the new weapons and attachments and uh, some changes that they made in Pavlov. I hope you like it, and let's, uh, let's shoot for a goal on this one. If we can get 50 likes on this video, that would be amazing. It would let me know that this is the content you want to see, and I'll, I can make more of it. I can do uh, more longer videos for VR. I do a lot of uh, smaller things like TikToks and YouTube shorts, uh, but if people want these longer form videos on YouTube, I can totally do that for you. Testing, testing. I'm in here. Uh, I just loaded into Pavlov. There's been a new update and uh, I'm going to be here experiencing it with you for the first time. I have not turned around, but I, I did notice I spawned with a, a pump shotgun in my hand and uh, it looked pretty cool. I don't know if it was really different, but I haven't turned around yet to look at any differences here, but I'm pretty excited. Um, things are running smoothly, which is awesome. With a new update, you're always worried, like, how are things going to run? Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and turn around and take a look and see what has changed and what's been added. That sounds pretty similar, but let's see. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so okay, they moved the, they moved the bear 50 cal, but that is the least of our concerns. They've added in this weapon. They've flipped around the AK-12, but then they've also added in this weapon, and this is a new M4 model, I believe. Holy moly, that's detailed. But then over here, we've got like a vector, and oh my goodness. We have an RPG-7. Oh my gosh, and then, okay, I knew of these. This is a laser sight and then a, and a flashlight. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they added this in. Here's the new sawed off. And you can grip it. Oh my gosh, we have so much to cover in this video. Look at all of this updated stuff. I am super excited right now. Uh, I'm not going to know all the weapon names. Please feel free to comment and let me know because uh, I'm learning and uh, I've learned a lot of the other weapon names, but now with these other ones, uh, I'm going to need some help getting to know them. So uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's get started. Of course, we have the AUG. We have the um, M4A1, but I think they've added in this new like M14 or M16 design. Pretty cool stuff. Um, this has been flipped around. It's the AK-12, but this is our first new weapon down the line. So let's go ahead and pick up this. Um, I'm not sure what it is. It says AAL on it. It looks like an older style, and this looks like it breaks away this this uh, this stock here, but I guess not. Let's go ahead and give it a couple shots though. So this is the first new weapon that I'm trying out. We're gonna put our target out to 20. And let's go ahead and give it a shot. We'll do a couple reloads here first. Nice animation on that. That, that clicks right in. Ooh, and we can slap it out. They added in this slap out mags feature on some of the weapons. And here's the chambering. Very cool. Very cool chambering on that. Let's go ahead and shoot down range with this. Very nice. Very nice. We'll reload that one again. There it is. Very cool. We'll bring that back. Bring back our target. And this is our first new weapon. It does say AAL on it. I don't know if that's the weapon name. But there you go. Go ahead and clear our target. And let's take a look at the next new weapon. Next new weapon, I believe, here is like an M15, M16, M14, something. I'm not really familiar. Um, I can't really see much on here for what it says or what type of weapon it is. It doesn't say. I really wish there was a big label on them that told you what they were, but that'd be kind of obvious. Let's go ahead and put out the 20. Let's check it out. See if we can do the mag slap here. No, we can't. We're just going to have to eject it. Now, we do have a semi and a burst on this. We'll go ahead and chamber it in. Let's go ahead and shoot. All right, very nice. We can pull out the mag and... Uh, Click a new one in. What a sound on that. We'll bring our target back. Pretty pretty nice weapon there. There's our shots. All right, let's check out the next new one. Um, that's the Car 98K, the G3, the AWP, but then this here is new. Holy rails. Look at the rails on this puppy. There are rails everywhere. Comes with an eight, uh, eight times uh, magnification scope on there. 
Let's go ahead and put our uh, target out to 60 this time. Take a couple shots with this. All right, now that our uh, target is out to 60 meters, let's take a couple shots with this weapon here. It's going to be kind of far on this. Wow, that is a sound. The, the coloring of this, for some reason, makes me think it's a scar, but I don't know that the scar is like that. Let's put it into potentially single fire, and then there's, like... No, we can't we can't switch our mode at all. But there it is. Interesting new weapon. The the clip on that is is interesting as well. It's got this bottom part, but I don't really know about that. Very cool. Very very nice sound on that. I wonder if we can throw a suppressor on this. Maybe we'll try that in a different video. There's our shots with with that new weapon. And that's all the new weapons in this block. We had this one, this one, and this one were new. Now let's check out the new ones over here. I do know that they've changed up the P90 with the loading. The uh, magazine actually slides in now, and it doesn't just like glitch through this metal part. It actually slides in like you would have to in real life. So that's nice. I think the firing, yeah, firing's the same on that P90. All right. There is a new uh, couple of weapons, There's actually three new weapons here. We have one, two, and oops, three here. We also have the RPG-7, absolutely crazy. They've added so much, this is really cool. I believe this would be a vector. I don't know if this is like a different type of vector or something. They're very similar. Um, again, <laughs> I don't know weapon names. I will learn them, of course, but this is just a video of my first impressions on these weapons. We'll go ahead and put this out to 20, take a shot with this. We got semi and full auto. We're going to take a couple shots downrange. There's semi. I'm shooting low on all of those. Now we got it over in auto. Here's chambering a couple rounds. And we'll shoot downrange here. That's got some recoil on it. We'll bring that back. Interesting new weapon here. Pretty cool stuff. There's our shots, very low on that, very low on all of those. But now we go over to what I believe is a vector. We'll pick this up. I'm assuming the rate of fire is gonna be very fast here. Looks like we got single double and then full auto. So we'll try out each of those. We'll do single uh, single shot first. We'll put out the 20 and let's uh, go ahead and reload. Pretty long magazine on that, cool. Let's give it a couple shots. I thought I was on single fire mode. No, I was on I was on full auto. Now we're gonna go into single fire. Oops, I got a chamber around. How do I even chamber around? Oh, it's up here. It's up on the front here. I guess I can't do that without a magazine in. There it is. Chamber a couple rounds there and just show that. Interesting. Here's single fire. Very cool. And then we'll go into what looks like uh, a, a double, a, a, a double fire. Nope, it's it's triple, it's a burst. I was gonna say, I don't know of many that just do two shots, but it shows two on there. Very cool, I think that's the vector. Not really sure. But there you go, all over the map on that one. We'll put this one out to 24 our RPG-7, and we will come back to this one here in a second. Here's our RPG-7. Looks odd that we're not going to use that second handle, but we'll go ahead and take a couple shots with this. Ooh, right above the head. Another one. Ooh, right in the chest. I think we might have that kill. Try one more just for safe measure. I'm shaking a lot. I'm excited here. This is a crazy update. There we go. I think we would have gotten that kill. I think we'd be good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, you got to hold it. You got to hold it there for a second. It slows down your reload. RPG-7. Very, very cool. We'll bring that back. Um, yeah, I think we'd be good on that one. I think we'd be good. And let's check out this one here. I think this might be the last new weapon. Oh, we of course are gonna check out the sawed off. They've changed that design completely. There's also a bunch of attachments we'll check out, but here we go, there's this one. Comes with an eight times uh, scope on it. Looks like a built-in suppressor potentially. We'll put this out to 40 
and check out how this one shoots. Here we go. Out to 40. Take a couple shots. Ooh, it's so quiet. Very cool. Very quiet. Here's the chambering. Oh, the rounds look very unique. I don't know if those are a special type of round there. They've got a different color on the top, different metal, I assume. Um, armor piercing, incendiary, I have no idea. Here we go. There's a different fire mode. Whoa. Whoa, that shoots very quick. Wow, look at that. That's something. Very cool. That's, again, that's a new weapon. I think that's the last of our new weapons. We'll take a look at the uh, sawed-off, the new sawed-off uh, right here. You can now put your front hand on it. You can stabilize it with your front hand, which is pretty cool. Whew, that's a big shot. That is huge. These rounds look a little thicker. I'm not really sure if they change that. We can still clap it shut. Very nice. Big fan of the sawed off. I'm glad we can now put our hand on it. That's pretty cool. Sawed off redesign. I like it. And now let's take a look at the new attachments. I'm going to grab a weapon. Oh, wait a minute. This is a new grenade. It looks like it's a frag of some sort. Oh, never mind. That was, uh, that was a stun. Holy moly. Um, but we have a flashlight. And then it looks like two lasers. Why don't we try putting a laser on a pistol? Uh, probably the smaller one. Oh, there we go. Nice. Holy moly. That's going to be really cool to use. That's going to be really cool to use in game, a little laser sight. Let's check out the laser sight on something like, uh, here, the vector here. It's got some rails all on it. Well, there we go. Wonderful. Laser sights. You never have to even look down your sights anymore. You can just just poke a laser at them. Headshots for days. Look at that. Um, and the flashlight. We'll try out the flashlight. Uh, I'm not sure what we could put that on. Probably the same weapon. Put a flashlight on here. See how well this works. Flashlights are challenging in VR because it's a lot of rendering. Uh, but that looks really nice. Oh, imagine the spooky games with this. Spooky games with the old flashlight. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Oh, you just turn it off with a click of the front trigger as well. There you go. I like that. That's nice. A little bit of light on the end of your weapon. Oh, it dropped down. But there it is. That's all the new stuff in Pavlov, at least to my understanding. Uh, let's try doing that slap again. I love slapping out <laughs> the magazine. That is cool. That's a cool reload that they've added. It does take some time to get used to. You really got to, you have to like hit it with some force. If you just do this, it doesn't work. And you can't slap it sideways. You got to slap it outward. So it's a kind of a finicky thing. You got to do it just right, you know. You can't, you can't be, uh, you can't be careless with it. You got to be uh, pretty accurate. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. I'm loving these redesigns. I'm loving this update. It's always a big concern if there's a new update. It's like, oh, is something going to break? Is something not going to work well? But it looks wonderful. It looks looks great. And uh, great job, Pavlov. They did an excellent job with this update. I'm excited to play more. And, uh, yeah, really, really cool stuff that they've added in here. Thanks for watching, and let's see if we can get this video to 50 likes. If we can get up to 50 likes here on YouTube, that would be wonderful. I'd greatly appreciate it. It would let me know that, hey, this is the content you want to see. You want to see some more VR stuff, some longer videos. I know I do a lot of the short stuff for TikTok, and I post it on YouTube as well. Uh, but if you want to see more of these longer videos, just let me know, and I will, uh, of course, put some effort into that because I enjoy making them. I enjoy VR, and I'm glad you're here. So thank you so much, and let's go ahead and, and uh, send, you, send you off with an old RPG-7 shot. Here we go. Boom. That was for you. We got some blood on there. That was probably me from the, from the backsplash on that. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.